Hello, today I'm going to be reading Mr. Bump. I hope you, you enjoyed my last reading of the Mr. Man books, Mr. Skinny. So if you haven't read that, could you pl please check it out? So, let's get started. Mr. Bump. This is the sad story of Mr. Bump. The trouble was that Mr. Bump just could not help having little accidents. If there was something for Mr. Bump to bump into, he'd bump into it all right. For instance, if you were to see Mr. Bump walking out walking down a street in your town, and if there happened to be something to bump into down that street then do you know what would happen don't you uh oh what do you think's gonna happen let's see he could maybe oh maybe if he bumps into this it could turn into an ice cream or he gets his bandage caught in it we just walked past it and that's just a little story bump oh i was wrong he just bumps into it oh poor mr bump i wouldn't like to be mr bump Mr. Bump was just the same at home. He lived in an extremely nice home. But even there he couldn't help having those little accidents. Aww, he looks like a nice house. Or is it a nice house? Maybe Mr. Bump's been messing it up. For instance, one morning when Mr. Bump went outside his house, he noticed that the chimney pot had come loose in a storm the night before. I must fix it. I must fix that before it falls off, thought Mr. Bump to himself, and he hurried to his garden shed to fetch a ladder. It was a very long ladder. It's just an extremely long ladder. Mr. Bump walked to the garden path with a ladder on his shoulder. He turned the corner of the garden path. Crash! Went the living room window. There's the living room window. Oh dear, thought Mr. Bump. Turned to see what happened. Crash! Went the kitchen window behind him. There's the kitchen window. Uh oh, he's in trouble. Oh dear, thought Mr. Bump again and rested the ladder against the wall of the house so that he could climb up the roof and mend the chimney pot. Crash! Went the bedroom window. Here's the bedroom window. Actually all the same windows, but I just want to show you them all. So you can see how Mr. Bump had his little accidents. Mr. Bump had many jobs, but somehow they never seemed to last very long. As soon as anything got lost or broken or splintered or chipped, or snapped, or cracked, or torn, or burst, or wrecked, or cr crunched, or split, or slit. Mr. Bump got the blame. Poor Mr. Bump, it's not his fault he's having these accidents. For instance, when Mr. Bump worked on a farm, he tripped over the farm dog and spilt the milk which he was carrying for the farmer's wife, which the cat lapped up. Oh, here's the farm dog. Very troublesome farm dog. You cheeky little farm dog. Well, it wasn't my fault. It was nobody's fault. For instance, when Mr. Bump was a postman, he got his hand stuck in the, in the pillar box and they had to fetch the fire ray to come and set him free. Silly Mr. Bump. For instance, when Mr. Bump was a bus conductor, he fell off the bus and couldn't catch it up again, and all the passengers travelled without having to pay. Oh no. If any of you are wondering, these Mr. Man books were like written like quite in the olden days, and in the olden days, then you didn't just get on the bus and pay the driver. There used to be a bus conductor who stood outside. And he used to come on the bus then, he used to take your cash at the end. For instance, when Mr. Bump was a carpenter, he found that when he was hammering the nails, he hammered 
his fan most of the time, time and the nail hardly at all. Ooh, I'd be bursting into tears. Mr. Bump must be quite grave. In order to recover from these from this series of rather unfortunate happenings, Mr. Bump decided to take a holiday. There he could think about what sort of job he could do where he wouldn't be such a nuisance to everybody. So off he set to the station to catch a train to the seaside. Not very happy with that on the train. Good fun, nice fun. Well, Mr. Bump was on holiday, several things happened. For instance, he fell off a boat into the sea and the lifeboat had to come and rescue him. Man overboard! For instance, one day when he was quietly walking along the beach minding his own business, he got his foot stuck in a bucket and, and as he couldn't get off, off, he had to walk round with it on one foot for hours. For instance, another time he was walking along the beach and walked straight into a large hole that somebody had dug. And he had to stay there all night because he couldn't climb out on his own. However, despite all these little accidents, Mr. Bump enjoyed his holiday. And while he was there, he had a splendid idea about what sort of job he should do. It was the, quite the best idea Mr. Bump had ever had. An absolutely splendid idea. Oh, there he is stuck in the hole. I remember once I was at the beach and I dug a hole and a toddler fell in it. Luckily, we got him out so he, wasn't, he didn't end up like Mr. Bump. Now Mr. Bump works happily for Mr. Barley the farmer. Mr. Barley has, a ra has rather a large apple orchard on his farm and that's where Mr. Bump works. Oh, it's only at no apples and looks on the floor. He's an apple pecker. Maybe that's what Mr. Bump is. Mr. Bump's job is, if you want to guess what Mr. Bump's job is, you can pause. If you have paused, then this is your answer. Picking apples. But he doesn't flatter. Climb up the tree and pick the apples like other apple pickers. Does he not? Oh no, Mr. Bump has a much better way of picking apples than that. He just walks about. And before long, long, Mr. Bump, being Mr. Bump, walks into a tree. Bump! Oh, he just walks back. Oh, he doesn't bump into a tree, does he? Oh, he's pretty smart. He's smart. And down falls an apple, and Mr. Bump catches it. This makes the job of apple picking much easier, and Mr. Bump is very pleased about his new job, and Mr. Barley is very pleased about his new apple picker. So you see, the story of Mr. Bump isn't such a sad story after all. And if you ever bump yourself, do you know what you should do? Oh, I'd like to know that one. Oh, there's the apple falling from the tree. Go and eat an apple picked by Mr. Bump, and then you won't feel your bump at all. You'll remember that next time you have a bump, won't you? Good. In fact, there are no more videos. Right, guys. discuss before you cross this video. Once I was searching for Michael O'Connell, Michael Hull, yeah that's our channel, but I couldn't find it by typing in, in the ordinary, the ordinary code. So then I'm going to put in a short video I'm going to put in a short video of what the code is and how you should find it. Okay, click that like button and sub subscribe. Bye! No, seriously, click the like button and subscribe.